Kids book. On the list is the latest entry of the Diary of a Wimpy Kid series. I got the chance to talk to the author, Jeff Kenny, toward the end of the year about his inspiration for the award-winning books. Joining me right now is one of the biggest names in children's books. Jeff Kenny is the mind behind the Diary of a Wimpy Kid series. It sold more than 200 million books in 59 languages. And the 13th book in the series, The Meltdown, just hit shelves. Jeff, thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for inviting me. An exciting time for you, I'm sure. It is, yeah. I'm on tour, so it's really exciting. So if, for anyone who's not familiar with the Wimpy Kid series, bring us up to speed. Folks who might not have kids or just not familiar with it at all. Well, my main character is named Greg Heffley, and he's... Um, um, he's a wimpy kid. He's a little bit underpowered and, and uh, you know, doesn't have much control over his own life. Uh, but the books are sort of unique because they've got a mix of text, handwritten text, and then cartoon drawings, which makes it really easy for kids to get into them. So where does the inspiration come from? Are you in yeah, his personality yeah. at all? Yeah, can't you tell? <laughs> Look at me, a wimpy kid. Um, yeah, the inspiration comes from everyday life, things that happen to me, uh, my memories, my imagination. But I'm really trying to hold a mirror up for kids. Uh, kids can, can see themselves in these characters. Was there any one thing in your life that sparked that moment that said, hey, you know what, I need to do this? Yeah, yeah. For me, it was when I used to be on the swim team growing up in Maryland. And every morning, I'd get into a cold pool, and I'd say, this isn't for me. So I'd ask the coach if I could go to the bathroom. I'd go hide in the restroom for the full you know, hour. Uh, I'd get so cold <laughs> in there, I'd wrap myself in toilet paper. And that's where Greg Heffley was born. So how did it grow into a 13 book series? Well, it started off and it went well right out of the gate and I decided to keep going. And the wonderful thing about cartoon characters is that they don't age and they don't change. And I think we sort of depend on our cartoon characters to be there for us. So you don't want to read about Donald Duck and then all of a sudden Donald Duck stops. You want to keep reading. So hopefully it'll go on for decades. Well, we've certainly seen other cartoons go on for 50, 60, 70 years. Sure. Still made into mo major motion pictures these days. So speaking of motion pictures, what's it like to see yours translated on film. It's wild. You know, whenever I hear those trumpet flares for 20th Century Fox, I get nervous. I get butterflies Do in you my really? stomach. Yeah, because it's our responsibility as, as storytellers mm -hmm. to entertain the audience that's come and, and sat in a dark theater. So I always feel nervous. So tell me a little bit um, about this latest book. Uh, the latest book is called The Meltdown, mm -hmm. and it's about war. Actually, it's kind of my war book. It's about conflict. It's what happens when a neighborhood turns from a neighborhood into a wintry battlefield and everybody's at odds with one another. Why that? Why that? I'm always trying to look at childhood through a different prism mm -hmm. and I'm always trying to tell stories that kids can relate to. And that was something that happened to me growing up is that you'd have your classmates in your regular school days and then all of a sudden it snowed and everything was shut down but, but everybody behaved differently too. What's been the greatest uh, response, do you think, with kids my as far as your as far as the whole series goes? Uh, my favorite is when a kid uh, with who's on the autism spectrum or has dyslexia really takes to my books and that they, they start them on their path to reading. And I think for kids it, with those conditions, they, they like the books because the books give them visual cues. And the, the drawings are kind of little islands to swim to between text. And so I like it. I feel very rewarded when those kids um, latch onto my books. And it's easy for parents to sort of follow along with what their kids is doing too. Yeah, I think so. And the books give parents and kids a touchstone, something uh, that they can they have in common. And the parents can talk about their own childhood experiences. It's a great conversation starter. All right. Speaking of starters, this book is out now, right? It is out now. Yeah, it's been out for a few days now. So it, get, get out and get it, right? Absolutely. What's your be your one selling point on this latest book? In one sentence. Oh, I've got a two-page spread that's an epic battle uh, battlefield scene, and I think. I think that alone is worth the price of the book. There you go. Get out and get it. And maybe it'll change your kid's life too, right? Absolutely. Jeff, thanks so much. I know you're a busy man. We appreciate you stopping by. Thanks so much.